Here is the new six star featured leaked, leaked pool. I'm gonna be going over this and then I'm gonna be going over a little bit of numbers and probabilities if you're looking at what are the odds that I get a specific champion. So first we have Absorbing Man. I would say probably the best champion in this pool from almost any um, game mode pretty much. So definitely the best, the best option in this pool for me, but for almost everybody. Agent Venom is good for the Scorpion Synergy and with the Scorpion Synergy, although he needs Craven to be good. Uh, if you have Scorpion and have him ranked and like using him, Agent Venom's a decent pull. Angela is really, really good for a path nine and has a lot of really solid utility. Um, she's a good champion and she does benefit from SIGs. So she's definitely one of the ones that if you had to get multiple times, like more than twice, you'd probably be okay with. Ant-Man is buff immune and has some really nice immunity. So he's actually pretty solid. Civil Warrior is kind of trash. I'd be pretty annoyed if I got Civil Warrior, even if he was new. Gambit, um, solid, and then I think the Awakening also does a couple things as well. But solid champion, nothing to, to write home about, but pretty solid. Mordo is phenomenal for Battlegrounds on offense and defense. Mine is Unawakened, so if I can get an Awakening on that, that will be super cool. His sig ability is actually pretty neat. If you hold blocks, it gives you like a very large amount of energy resistance. Atuma. Not sure how he does on offense. I know on defense he can be annoying, but also there are definitely ways to play around him. But especially if you're into Battlegrounds and Alliance War, probably a solid defensive option. Black Bolt is garbage. Even, I, I guess with the Hitmonkey Synergy, he's all right, but garbage. Overseer is a super, super solid champion, and you also really want him awakened. He's definitely one of the best options in this pool. In my opinion, he's top five at least. Uh, I Doom, phenomenal for Prestige. In theory, he's okay for Battlegrounds, although I think he's a little bit slow. I'm not sure, though. And uh, Alliance War, he's solid. Uh, White Magneto, everybody wants White Magneto. Pretty standard. Um, Sasquatch, good for defense on in Battlegrounds. I mean, it, also in War, but, you know, only one per battle group, so in Battlegrounds more so. Daredevil is trash. King Groot is really solid, and he benefits from the SIG as well. Spider-Man Classic is uh, trash, but he's getting a rework, so could be good. Sure, he's kind of trash. Mr. Sinister is kind of trash. Uh, the new Spidey is pretty solid, especially if you have not done the Spider vs. Heroes Karina Challenge. Then that's a super, super good pull for you. Mantis, I really hope they rework her. Not rework her, but tune her up to add some more utility. And if they do that, that would be really solid. If not, she's still an okay champion with some damage and some niche little pieces of offensive and defensive utility. But um, if they can give her some sort of either extended damage window or something like that that would make her a lot better venom is kind of tried and true he's decent i don't personally love him but he's he's definitely a solid champion spot easily one of the hardest alliance war defenders right now and easily one of the most banned battlegrounds for defense champions and then you have yondu who is eh, he's all right and sunspot who's making a comeback because of battlegrounds so overall i would say there are probably one two three four, five or so really good champions. That would be Spot and Absorbing Man, Overseer, I Doom, and then like you could argue that Spidey or Atuma or Mordo, Wags, Sunspot, there's probably at least one of those that you want, so I'd say probably around like five. Um, super, super solid pool on the top end. On the bottom end, there are definitely some misses, like even Ant-Man, Civil Warrior, Gambit, um, Black Bolt, Daredevil, Shuri, <laughs> Yondu, so I could go on, but a uh, little bit of a top-heavy pool, but that's fine. We're mostly in it for the new champions anyway, because a lot of people already have a majority of the basic champions. So now into the, the statistics a little bit. Here is the probability chart. So this is the number of crystals that you have, and then this is the percent chance that you... This is for any given champion. So say I want Absorbing Man. The odds of me getting an Absorbing Man out of one crystal, 96% chance I miss. There's a 4% chance I get one or more, and a 0% chance I get two or more. There's only one crystal, obvious. Let's take a more uh, realistic number. We'll take 10. If I open 10 crystals, there is a 66% chance that I get zero, a 34% chance that I get one or more, one or more, and a 6% chance that I get two or more. It's important to note that one plus also includes the 2+, plus, so you can't just add them and be like, oh, there's a 40% chance I'm happy. Um, 
one or more is basically saying I can get them at least new, and two is saying I can get them at least duped. And so personally, I'm at around 20 or so, and so I'll be looking at a 59% chance to get Absorbing Man and a 22% chance to get him and awaken him within those 20 crystals. So I have this list all the way from... Let's see if I can freeze this row, actually. All right, um, here we go. I'm just going to slowly scroll down this. If you want to see the numbers, I did round them to the nearest percentile, but that's really not that big of a deal. And uh, as you can see, it kind of tapers off. So these are the numbers if you're looking for a specific crystal count. But now, just a more generalized graph can be found here. So if we look at this graph here, you can see that the blue are the odds that you get them at least new, and the red is that you get them at least duped. And, uh, I mean, it just kind of proceeds like that. So if you want to kind of look at it, this is the issue with uh, something that is called a binomial probability, which is that I'm not looking at averages, right? So if there's a 4% chance, because there's 25 champions, 25 times 4 is 100. So if there's a 4% chance to get a champion one would theoretically posit that in 25 crystals, you would get one, right? 25 times by 0.04, we just did this. Uh, the problem is that's the average amount of champions you will get, the average amount of champions, not the chance that you get one, right? Because everybody knows that if you open 25 crystals, you're not guaranteed one of every single champion. That's not how it works. And so you see this set of diminishing returns where even if I'm opening a million, there's still only a 99-some percent chance that I get it. And so just be aware. I'm not saying that each crystal provides diminishing returns, just that the more you open, you're not linearly increasing your chance to get it, which is kind of a misnomer, not a misnomer, a misconception that a lot of people have. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are sitting anywhere between 10, 20, I'd say probably between like 20 and 40, a lot of people who are really hoarding. And so you'll look at the people with 40 do have an 80% chance to get him, and they do have almost a 50% chance to dupe him. So that's really solid. Um, and even the people with 20 have a 20% chance to dupe him and like a some 55 or so percent chance to, uh, to get him new. So just if you had questions about, okay, uh, who's in the pool and what do other people think, hopefully I answered that in the beginning. And if you have questions about, I want to go for spot, what are the odds I get spot? I want to go for Absorbing Man. What are the odds I get Absorbing Man? You can't just add these between champions. So say we'll take my example, which is 22 or so. Um, there's a 59% chance that I get at least one Absorbing Man. There's also a 59% chance I get at least one spot that I at least dupe my Mordo. But there's not a 177% chance that I get at least one. That's not how math works. So... There are better chances, but this is the individual thing. So if you pick a champion, this applies to them. This is your odds or probability of getting any given champion. And so hopefully if you're doing something like hoarding a rank 5 Mystic Gem for Mystic and Absorbing Man, or a Science Gem for a Spot or something like that, Tech for iDoom, this will give you a general mindset of what can I expect statistically. Um, I don't know if this is boring. I do love doing statistics on stuff like this. If y'all like it, I'm happy to do more, but I know that a lot of this is just kind of like over information that a lot of people don't really care about. But I thought this one was interesting because a lot of us are hoarding for this, and with the advent of the four to five gem into the game pretty much, out of nowhere, we didn't even know it was gonna be a thing, a lot of people have a lot invested in getting one specific champion. So if you have questions about what are the odds you get them, can I complain if I get them or don't get them? Here you go. Here's what the math says. And hopefully, regardless of how many you have, we can altify the odds and get everything we want. But I hope that answered some questions if you had them. And that's my thoughts on the featured and kind of how I'm going to be approaching it. So thank you for watching and good luck.